Uh, we got a guy in your neck of the woods yeah, out of yeah, Western we Illinois is coming neck. on next. We got a leather neck. We got a leather neck. Western Illinois quarterback uh, Trenton Norvell uh, up next on the 2017 Colorado Showcase well, preview show. How are you doing? Presented by Halo Neuroscience. Uh, so here we are. I mean, your, your collegiate career is over with. I, uh, I'm from Chicago, so I, I pay close attention to the uh, FCS programs there in Illinois. So uh, very familiar with you. Um, just looking back, how would you describe your uh, other net career? I mean, well, you know, uh, 7,900 yards uh, passing, finished second in career pretty much throughout the whole school in every passing category, really. So it's one of those things that you know you can look at that stuff, but you know. It's just one of those things that I guess is prestigious, but as far as my experience at the school, you know, it's great. You know, and uh, obviously we're, we're going to be focusing on you, but I mean, talk about some of the players that you've been able to play with. I mean, Lance Lenore just finished a phenomenal career there, wide receiver. Um, you know, last, uh, last year, uh, Nico Watson handed the ball off to him. I mean, what, what, what's it been like, uh, Joey Borsalino? What's it been like playing with some of these guys? Uh, you know, playing with like Lance and Joey, I mean, those guys came in with me, so just playing with those kind of guys were definitely good experiences and we're always on a different type of chemistry level as far as like knowing where each other going to be just because we grew up you know, uh, not with each other but as far as playing in, you know, in college so definitely one of those things it was good to have that type of chemistry and we're always with each other in the summertime just working on routes and different type of throws really so always helps to have some playmakers around you right yeah, absolutely how about your game you know prototypical size big body guy big arm Scouts want to know, what are we going to see when we see you out there in Bedford? What can, what can they expect? Uh, you're definitely going to see the arm strength. I mean, obviously, like you said, prototypical size. But as far as, you know, commanding the game, especially with the new staff that came in, as far as going a little bit more of a pro-style offense, it definitely helped a little bit. Um, you know, just as far as, you know, football IQ, I'd say. And just one of those things. I think a lot of people don't think I'm, I'm as mobile as, you know, what they, what they think. But I okay. definitely can get on the move. I'm not going to be doing read option. You know, I don't expect to do that. Future, Maybe but, uh, surprise some folks, <laughs> creating a little extra time, biting yeah. some time in the pocket, avoiding the rush. Yeah, I mean, they have two pocket presents, I mean, you know, accuracy. So, I mean, like, thing like that, I'm a perfectionist, so I'm always trying to work on something in my game, so anything like that. And have we decided where we're training leading up to the draft process? Are we still sorting that out, or how's that been for you? Because the agent decision, the training facilities, it's a big deal these days, and it's a complicated decision. How how far are we on, along with that? Um, you know, it's pretty final right now. Uh, probably with the Capital Sports Advisors okay. uh, for the agency, and I'll be training in Indianapolis. Oh, in Sparta, yeah. Okay. And then QB Coach Lavar Johnson. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, nice. So, you, with them. so you're gonna get some of this weather because this is Indianapolis yeah. weather right here. Yeah. We weren't expecting to see this, yeah. but uh, I mean, you have experience playing in the cold weather. NFL Northeast teams, they like that kind of quality, so uh, kind of feel a little bit at home down here with the weather we're having in Bedford, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, being a kid from Florida, I mean, it's definitely whenever you go to the Midwest or anything like that or up north, the weather's different, but, you know, I was home for you know, winter break for a little bit, and I was playing golf with my dad, it was about 80 degree weather, so... No. You know, I don't think there's any Hollywood in you because if you're from Florida and you're going up to Indy to train, I like that mentality. A lot of guys want to be in the sunshine out in California, down in Florida, soaking up the rays. And then they go get a, a tryout from the Patriots and they're freezing their nuts off and they ain't ready for that. I like that mentality. Yeah, playoffs are played in the winter time. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> right now, there's some yeah. playoff games today. Playoff play Is there any quarterbacks in the NFL that you like to watch or, or study at all? Uh, definitely Tom Brady. I feel like he's one of the best in the game. Uh, Not a bad guy to watch. <laughs> Uh, Peyton Manning and then Andrew Luck, you know, those guys. Are, and then as far as Drew Brees, as far as his quick release and the way he just kind of handles himself. You know, there's been nine 5,000-yard passers in the history of the NFL. I think Drew Brees has had like four or five of those yeah. seasons. So not a, another bad yeah. guy to look after. You know, Trenton, uh, talk about just playing in the Missouri Valley. Uh, you know, some will say, uh, you know, it's the SEC of the FCS. Um, I think it's hands down the toughest conference in the FCS. Um, I mean, year, year after year, they, they're always flushing out the most playoff teams and, uh, you know, even leaving some out. Um, but, I mean, just talk about playing in the, the Missouri Valley and how it's kind of helped you grow as a player just playing that elite competition uh, year in and year out. 
Um, you know, North Dakota State being a five-time national champion, I mean, like you said, it, I would say that it's the SEC of the FCS, really. I mean, we got another team going to the national championship in Youngstown State. Um, you know, as far as just playing against those teams, it, I'd say it's the same pretty much anywhere else if you were to go to FBS level. I mean, especially when we would play like Northwestern or Wisconsin, any of those guys, you know, I thought we always had a pretty good jump on what they were going to give us and as far as getting into the film room and stuff like that. I mean, we know that those guys are the same size, really. So, How about, you know, you take a look at the roster and you see a guy like Bart Houston, Tyler O'Connor, Power 5 Conference, Dane Evans from the uh, AAC, and then a guy like yourself. Do you feel like there's a little bit of a chip on your shoulder to prove yourself? We had a couple other small school guys on here. Some guys say, yeah, you know, I want to go prove myself. Other guys say, it's not a big deal to me. Where do you sit on that? I mean, I definitely say there's a chip on my shoulder. I mean, even if I was an SEC quarterback, there'd be a chip on my shoulder. I mean, I'm trying to get to the, the same place all these guys are trying to get to. This is a job interview. It's one of those things where that's the mentality you got to take. And it's just one of those things where you got to go out and compete with, you know, you compete with. It doesn't matter if it's a D2, D3. I mean, the scouts are going to find you. The coaches are going to find you. No doubt about it. It's one of those things you got to go out and are you going to be on social media leading up to the draft? Are you, are you a guy that's going to say goodbye to social media? What's your plans with that? Uh, I'm not big on social media. I mean, I'll post every now and then on like Instagram or Facebook. What's the handle? Let's hit the people out there. <laughs> uh, Facebook, just Trent Norvell. And then uh, Instagram, so Trent underscore Norvell5. So I don't have Twitter. Keep it so. simple. Keep it simple. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't got Twitter, so. <laughs> All right. Trent Norvell, Western Illinois. Um, final question. You know, last, uh, last impression. I mean, what, what do you want to leave these scouts saying about the uh, Western Illinois quarterback once uh, you know January 11th rolls around and this event is uh, all said and done? All right, I'll just have this guy's polished. You know, he's got all the intangibles, everything that we're looking for, and one of those things he can come in and help our team out. All right. Hey, Trent, appreciate it. Right, Best appreciate of luck. Looking you. forward to watching you this week. Tyson, don't go far, buddy. All right, Trent, right, we appreciate it, man. Looking forward to it. I'll see you out there on the field. All right, have a good one. All right, Trent Norvell, quarterback, Western Illinois. Got tight.